Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Previously we have made a detailed video on third aircraft carrier of Indian Navy which will be entirely different from the concept of INS Vishal which was supposed to be third aircraft carrier of Navy. Some defense expert consider it as a sister class of INS Vikrant or B class Vikrant. The warship will be designed to accommodate not just fighter jets but also unmanned aerial vehicles. This warship will be smaller in size and its overall weight will be brought down less than 65,000 tons which was previously decided for INS Vishal. The reduction in the weight of the warship is wise decision for Navy as they are opting out for low budget aircraft carrier and will require small time to build. Today, we will dive deep into the requirements of naval UCAV, challenges involved in their development and operational needs. So, let's get started. The third aircraft carrier will operate combination of TED-BF and UCAVs. There are many challenges involved with the operation of UCAV from deck. At present, Indian Navy is working with DID on deck-based UCAV program, which is part of AURA program being developed for Indian Air Force. The UCAV being developed for Indian Navy will be derivative of Ghatak UCAV. It will have high subsonic speed of Mach 0.9 and steelier in design. The UCAV will feature foldable wing with air refueling capability like the US Navy Northrop Grumman X-47B. The naval UCAV should be able to carry more fuel with full weapon payload. The Navy has a special UCAV design and mission requirements because of the need to operate from aircraft carriers. UCAV ends will have to be a multi-mission asset capable of both UCAV and UAV missions to conserve limited deck and hold space abroad ships. They will need the rugged launch and recovery, electromagnetic pulse shielding and greater corrosion protection characteristics of other carrier aircraft designed into all systems. The Navy may push faster than other services to employ UCAVs in routine patrolling missions with long lotter times, such as anti-submarine warfare, electronic warfare or carrier air cover. That use could free up manned system and increase the offensive capabilities of aircraft carrier. However, there are many challenges which DRDO needs to overcome before moving to naval UCAV. The naval version of Ghatak UCAV will feature foldable wings and may be bigger than TED-BF similar to US naval UCAV which is bigger in size than TED-BF. As we already know that any naval drone, aircraft or UCAV requires more powerful engine as compared to ground version of the same due to short takeoff and arrested landing. At present, dry cavalry engine is planned for Ghatak UCAV. However, it will not be able to produce enough thirst to power naval UCAV. For example, US Northrop Grumman X-47B has one Pratt & Whitney F100 220U turbofan engine which generates a dry thrust of 64 kN, whereas Kaveri has dry thrust of 52 kN which is significantly low. Another challenge is with landing of UCAV. DRDU has not matured autonomous arrested landing technology. It has showcased autonomous landing of Rustam but arrested landing on deck is not yet proven. The third challenge is cost. If we take an example of American Northrop Grumman X-47B UCAV, the whole project from development till induction cost US Navy $874 million which is equivalent to 6,556.5 crore rupees which is one fourth of the cost of INS Vikrant. US Navy itself has inducted only two units of Northrop Grumman X-47B. The development of Ghatak UCAV will take at least 5 to 6 years from now considering the pace of development. The work on naval version of Ghatak will take furthermore time due to additional requirement of power, arrested landing and foldable wings. If Navy wants to expedite the development of UCAV then there should be a separate team of DRDO working on naval UCAV program because it's going to be much more complex. 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector